All right, so in this video, I'm going to give you my best tips on how to boost your FPS or frames per second in any game out there, regardless of what graphics card or CPU you're playing on. Coming up. Welcome back my friends, Robin here on Chips Media and in this video I'm going to share my two cents on how you can boost your FPS on your desktop PC or laptop computer by simply following this guide you should definitely see better performance in any game out there. So with that said, let's get started. First tip, get Razer Cortex. A Razer Cortex is a free and easy to use tool built from the ground up by the people over at Razer the folks that makes awesome keyboards and mice hashtag not sponsored anyway they put together a tool to help you get a better faster and smoother gaming experience simply by killing processes and apps running in the background you don't need anyway which will ultimately give you more valuable resources and ram needed by games now gotta say guys if you're not a technical and you're looking for something simplistic hands down it doesn't get much better than this simply head over to racerzone.com forward slash cortex to get started all right now tip number two now you gotta make sure you got the absolute latest drivers at all time like game developers work alongside the gpu manufacturers to give us the best possible gaming experience by constantly releasing updates to improve the performance and yeah the gaming experience now the benefit of always staying up to date on graphics drivers you're also minimizing the risks of random errors bugs and crashes now in order to get the latest drivers for your graphics card all you need to do is simply head over to the gpu manufacturers driver page and download the driver or the software if you are uncertain what graphics card you have simply head over to the device manager by right clicking somewhere on the computer window and choose properties and then under device manager and on the display you will see the name of your graphics card now since the gpu manufacturers are constantly improving the performance as new games constantly comes out it can be a little bit challenging to keep up with the constant flow of new drivers coming out all the time to help you guys out both nvidia and amd have their own software that keeps track on that for us and i highly recommend you to download these nifty softwares now nvidia called their software geforce experience and it has a built-in game optimizer that by help from databases will determine the best setting for your games based on your components moving on to tip number three free up some space now a lot of games that's been out for a while are typically well optimized for most setups but there are still many things that you can do to increase the performance by huge margins to make sure you're not getting any unwanted performance loss it's a great idea to always have free space on any hard drive in case of let's say memory running out for example a simple and effective way to get rid of unused files is to use windows 10's built-in storage app head over to start and type storage and click on each drive to get started another great tool or software to use is CC Cleaner which is a complex software tool that helps you clear up space and cleaning your computer. It can also protect your privacy and make your computer faster and more secure. As your computer gets older it collects unused files and settings which take up a lot of unnecessary hard drive space ultimately making it slower and slower. What CC Cleaner does is that it cleans up all these files in a matter of seconds and yeah on top of that you can also help you clean the registry by fixing broken settings and errors that causes blue screen and yeah crashes for the most basic stuff cc cleaner is free to use head over to cccleaner.com forward slash cc cleaner to get the ball rolling tip number four power schedule now you want to make sure you always got performance power schedule activated to check that head over to start start typing control pass panel and yeah look for power options open up power options and make sure performance is activated additionally you can also switch visual appearance to basic appearance for better overall performance to do so 
head back over to the control panel and yeah click on system on the left hand side click on advanced system settings select the tab advanced and under performance click on the bottom settings now here you got the three options if you struggle to get decent frame rates select best performance here and click ok to confirm also if you are sitting on an nvidia laptop right click on your desktop and select the nvidia control panel and make sure that the nvidia processor is set as the default gpu processor on the global settings now tip number five get windows 10 if you haven't made a change yet and also yeah make sure you got the creators full update as well and the update started to roll out back in april 2007 and include something called game mode a feature which prioritizes computers resources on what game you're playing delegating background tasks to specific cpu cores for overall boost in performance all right so if you tried all of that i got the last tip for you last but definitely not least yeah you gotta overclock your system now this only applies to advanced users that know what they're doing but basically by overclocking your components you can gain performance for the sacrifice of a slightly higher power consumption and slightly higher thermal temperatures now if you have a case that allows for slightly higher temperatures this is something that i usually recommend to anyone before ultimately buying new components since it's easy to get started and it doesn't cost any money from overclocking you could definitely see noticeable games in any games now this isn't something i will go over in this video but there's plenty of videos that show you how this is done and it's definitely something to consider if you're sitting on a desktop pc although it needs to be said it is typically not something that you do on a laptop simply due to the laws of physics now by following these simple tips guys you should definitely see a boost in any game out there if the gaming experience still isn't meeting your expectations well it's time to upgrade all right now in the past i made buying guides on great budget graphics card as well as great gaming laptops to consider for any one of you looking for an upgrade now question how many frames per second would you consider a great gaming experience let me know in the comments below now on this channel i cover a variety of gaming related peripherals tech console and pc components such as headset headphones mics monitors and so on so if you are interested in tech reviews consider subscribing all right now with all that said who am i to talk about this now first off i've been a gamer since i can remember i'm a tech yankee and i also worked in the gaming peripheral scene in the past i also built an overclock computer for 12 years and yeah i've been a content creator for three now there is a ton of videos just around the corner for you guys if you're looking for the best budget monitor headset keyboard headphones mic pad and more consider subscribing also don't forget to tap that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any uploads on my end thank you so much for watching this video my name is robin on chips media until next time guys you have an awesome day all right bye